Welcome to this Lighten Up With Love guided visioning meditation. My name is Dominique Hurley, and this offering is just one of many on my website to nourish your transformational journey. You can find more at www.dominiquehurley.com. Are you ready to lighten up with love? In this guided visioning meditation, I will help you to become more aware of the effects of both fear and love so that you can make the proper choices in this challenging time. By the end of this meditation, let it be our intention that you feel lighter that you feel more connected to the love that you are, to the love that fuels you, to the love that helps you make the right decisions for you. Are you ready? Make yourself as comfortable as you can, either lying down or sitting down making sure that your legs are uncrossed unless you're sitting in meditation pose. Also allow your hands to gently rest on your lap without your thumbs touching or have them lying by your side. Take a few moments to just scan your body inviting it to be as comfortable as it can be in this moment. And then gently close your eyes. And let's call in your team of divine helpers, no matter who that is. If the words that I use don't resonate with you, simply replace them with those that do. Dear God and guiding spirits, archangels, angels of light and love, guiding spirits of the highest vibration, to all beings the universe source, that guide us on our path to our highest good. Be here, be here with us now supporting your journey, nourishing your journey. As you invite them into your space, ask them for help, to choose love, to lighten up with love, to let go of the layers of fear that do not serve you. And if there's a specific question about an area of your life right now, go ahead and ask for specific support in that area. Knowing that as you ask, you shall receive. Knowing also that the awareness that you'll gain through this meditation will empower you for change, will empower you to allow more of your true self to emerge will empower you to expand in the face of fear, to expand in the face of challenge. Let's begin. Allowing your focus to turn within where all of your power, all of your love, all of the resources you need are. For you hold within yourself all you already need to be who you are meant to be in this moment in time. 
for everything you have lived up to this point has prepared you for this time. You were born for this. You were born to evolve, to emerge, to be all that you can be. Welcome once again to this inner space. Thank yourself for taking the time to nourish your transformational journey. For recognizing your need and opening up to the miracle that is you, to the miracle that is love. Take a few deep breaths through your nose and releasing through your mouth, allowing for that first layer of letting go. As you breathe in, connect to all that is, connect to your team of divine spirits, your team of divine helpers knowing that your breath is your life force, is that connection to spirit, to your heart, to your higher self. And as you exhale through your mouth, releasing some of what is not needed right now, and then naturally return to a more peaceful breath through your nose, if this is possible. Becoming more aware of your inner space. Allowing the mental waves to slow down. Allowing your body to naturally do what it does. And now in your mind's eye, I invite your observer self to stand beside you, looking at your body while you are sitting or lying there, simply observing it without judgment, with complete love and acceptance yet full awareness. As it stands to one side, ask it to look upon your body to see the effects of fear. Fear generated by your mind, fear generated by your reactions to the outside world. Simply allow it to see and observe the anxiety and the fear. This is not about negating the effects of what's happening or the tragedy in the world, but seeing how you stand within it. Seeing how you've reacted to it. Awareness is key to change. This may be uncomfortable right now. That's okay. Things need to be seen to be released. Simply allow whatever is bubbling up to the surface, knowing that this will be simply a short time. See the effects of fear. Observe it on your body on your mind and on your spirit. How is it manifesting? How does it feel? Notice also 
through your observer self. A bowl, either beside you or on your lap, filled with what is fueling this fear. Simply notice how or what has fueled these layers of anxiety. What choices you've made What media you're choosing, beliefs that you've taken on, allow your observer self to simply notice what is in that bowl that you have chosen to eat from. Again, there's no need for judgment, simply observation. And now, ask your observer self to stand on the other side and to focus on love. There is a spark within you spark that has always been there from before this time, from even before this life. Notice to what degree it is shining right now, deep within you, within your body, your mind and your spirit. You might notice a change from another time that you'll listen to this meditation. Simply in this moment, at what level is this light? Notice its effects on you. And notice also a different bowl how full or how empty it is of the things that fuel this love, that fuel all the effects of love. These might be from the outside, from the inside, the choices you've made and how you spend your time from the universe, the synchronicities, what you choose to notice. Again, by being aware of what fuels your love, you're better equipped to make the choices on a moment-by-moment -moment basis on a day-by-day -day basis. And now let go of your observer self, thanking it for this information, this awareness that is key to opening up, to being even more of your true self, Noticing how fear has been caked on, above and beyond. That space, that light, that is naturally you. And so in this meditation, we will allow this light, we will invite this light to shine brighter. Are you ready? in your mind's eye again. Imagine a space in your current location, be it your home, your office, wherever you happen to be. A space where you feel nourished, safe, 
might be standing beside a plant or by a window looking out at your favorite tree. It might be lying in a warm tub of bubbly water or lying in your bed. Somewhere in your current location and make your way there in your mind to stand, sit, or lie. Breathing in the support of that space. Feel yourself connecting to the energy of the space and how it is connected to Mother Earth. Allow yourself to soak in the energy from our healing planet, from our ascending planet. Knowing that you are intricately linked by simply inviting that energy up into you to nourish you in this moment so that you can feel supported and safe. And now connect to that spark that you saw within yourself. And as you take another three deep breaths, fuel that light allowing it to shine brighter. Feel the warmth, a comfortable warmth of the love growing inside you. Ask your team of divine helpers to stand around you, showering you in their unconditional love and compassion, and allow you to mirror it. Be gentle with yourself. Now once again, allow your observer self to look at you this time from above. Simply noticing the amount of light that shines through you. How thick are those layers of fear and anxiety? Notice how they start to turn to ash the brighter your inner light becomes. See your body starting to glow through the cracks of this ash. Feel the warm breath of your team of divine helpers blowing on you, helping you to release these layers of ash as they fall to the ground. See those layers of fear and anxiety simply disintegrate as you connect to more of who you truly are. Allow that light to shine brighter. See yourself shining as the ash falls to the ground and now is absorbed through the floor all the way through to Mother Earth where she can recycle it. Recycle that fear, recycle the anxiety, recycle whatever it is that no longer serves you, including that bowl of what fuels that fear. Let it go. 
It's being recycled by the planet, transformed to nourish the dark soil from which your roots are growing deeply and being nourished. Now is that time to go within, to nourish your inner self through all of the resources possible, to grow in strength, to grow in love. That's what you're doing here. And now notice from above how brightly you shine. Brighter and brighter, surrounded by a ring of light, that of your team of divine helpers who's here to support you, to encourage you. Rise up far above the planet now as your observer self to see that pinpoint of light where you are. Can you see it? Can you visualize it? A pinpoint of light in the darkness. And as you do, allow your inner eyes to see there from up above, how you can more easily notice and connect to the pinpoints of love around you. See the word love lighting up, for as you shine brighter in who you are, as you feel this love lightening you up, you notice everything around you. It's contagious. Yes, it too can spread. Spelling the word love in the people, the spaces, the things, the events around you. And as you see what's close to you, you can now see on this dark planet the word love multiplying over the oceans, over the land. In all languages, there are no borders. Simply see the word love multiplying in light. Keep observing until the entire planet is glowing, knowing that as you stand witness to this growing love, to this growing light, as you focus on the effects of this love through your imagination, starting at the epicenter of you and spreading in your home, in your neighborhood, in your community, in your country, in your continent, and all around the world. Take a few moments now to observe what that love translates as, how it is inspiring you and others to be more fully in this time. Allow examples to rise up through your consciousness, knowing that as you focus on love, be they ideas on how you can be more loved, how you can feel more loved, and how you can feel and be more loving. 
Allow it all to rise in your consciousness, helping raise the consciousness of the planet. What would love do now? How would love look now? And as the planet far below shines brighter and brighter, radiating, you know that it has always had this light. But your own vision may have been caked up under the layers of fear and anxiety. Notice how your body, mind and spirit now feel lighter as you acknowledge the light in the world, as you acknowledge the power of your own light to spark love in and around you. See from far above the layers of ash simply falling from the earth, dissipating into nothingness as the planet shines brighter and brighter. And come closer now to your body where it is. Noticing how the space around you, in that safe space that you chose, how there's a groove indented from your weight, an energetic groove where you can feel and almost see the nourishment from Mother Earth, the nourishment from all of that love around the planet seeping into you. Or is it the other way around? The flow is going both ways. You are nourishing this light around the planet and it is nourishing you. You are connected to all that is. Yes, you were connected to the layers of fear around the planet. Yes, it nourished you as well in a different way. Every moment you have a choice of what you allow into your space be it connected through fear or connected through love. Notice now, in this space, resources that are making themselves appear more clearly to you, inner and outer resources, that help you make that choice of love versus fear, Know that this is not about denying the tragedy that's happening or any grief that you need to process or any fear that you may take on temporarily. Everything the 
that you choose becomes part of your reality. From your beliefs, to your habits, your thoughts, your reactions and actions. What you're helping yourself to do and what your team of divine helpers is here to support you any time you ask is that you connect to your inner and outer resources that help you see and shine more brightly from the light that is within you. Connecting to your inner wisdom to make the right choices, to be gentle, to be loving, first to yourself. For the brighter you shine, the more self-care that you take, the better equipped you are to live through your day choosing love in how that manifests. How can you spread that light? How can you shine so brightly that it affects everyone and everything around you, whether they're in your immediate vicinity or in your thoughts, in your feelings? Seeing how there are no borders between yourself and others, between yourself and the rest of the world, you are part of one big light, interconnected for what you do and how you choose affects everyone and everything. Shine brightly now. Seeing yourself in a bubble of light that will stay with you as you return within your body in that location that you chose. Rub it in, soak it in, feel how lighter you feel. Embrace and thank your team of divine helpers in any way that feels appropriate. Asking them to continue to support you throughout your day or your night. Have them accompany you back to where you happen to be sitting or lying right now. Feel their love. And once again, look at yourself through the eyes of your observer self that stands beside you and walks around you, brushing off any leftover ashes, kissing you on the head. Allowing you to see through the eyes of your soul how brightly you shine, how lighter you feel. And come back into your body by gently moving your fingers and your toes, opening your eyes to see how brighter the world looks. Noticing also with an empowered observer self that is within you. Anything around you that doesn't support your highest good. Let it go in whichever way feels right to you. As you go through your day, choosing to spread love. It's contagious. It's viral. Make those choices to be, to do, to have what lifts you up, what lightens you up, 
bring more of that feeling of love into your day and see how it will shine through the darkness of fear for yourself and for others. Peace be with you, dear one. You are loved. You are loving. And you love it. How lovable is that? Namaste.